1984, a iconic character was created named Optimus Prime. And ever since then, just under 30 years later, countless incarnations and countless toys have been created of this character. And this is my personal top five picks for the best Optimus Prime figures to have ever existed. The original masterpiece Optimus Prime is a huge milestone in Transformers. It is almost half die-cast metal, half plastic, and you best utilizes the die-cast metal, especially in the chest, the legs. It is the, probably the first Optimus Prime toy to actually have a removable matrix of leadership that was not just added on as an accessory. It has electronic lights. Uh, the eyes give off the illusion of having lights behind with that shiny plastic. It has a great number of accessories, including its gun, a Megatron uh, gun mode. It has a axe and some versions also have the trailer and while not perfect it does introduce a whole new line of transformers in japan and it brought in a new fan base as far as hardcore collectors go Out of all the different Japanese exclusive Optimus Prime characters that have came out uh, ranging from Car Robots to Galaxy Force, the Galaxy Convoy from Galaxy, Far is uh, Galaxy Force is by far the best, uh, also known as Cybertron Optimus Prime in the United States. It has a very awesome futuristic fire truck mode that also doubles as a space uh, jet. And also has a great looking basic robot mode that uh, most of the other ones lack. And it has a super uh, big and just intimidating super mode that has also pays homage to Star Convoy in several aspects. Also, it f it's uh, the only one of the Municron trilogy that features a remo removable matrix of leadership and is great on its own, even if, if you don't have any of the other robots that can combine with it. The first edition Transformers Prime Voyager class Optimus Prime is the definitive version of the character from the new TV series, mainly because it is exactly proportionate to how he appears in the show. It doesn't rely on gimmicks. It The transformation is brilliant, even though it is just a upscaled version of the original deluxe but it just does everything uh perfect uh it's the perfect size and it's a real shame because of the cancellation of the u.s a lot of people won't have a chance to get a hold of him so it's it's made this figure highly sought after and black market prices are high but i think it's worth it because any optimus prime figure uh, any optimus prime fan should get a hold of this figure If you forget about the controversy of Takara releasing yet another Optus Prime figure in the Masterpiece line right after the last version of the original Masterpiece, you would really realize that this is the perfect G1 Optus Prime figure. It has a really great looking truck mode. The transformation is really interesting without being overly complicated. And the robot mode is as perfect as you can get without relying too much on gimmicks such as hydraulics, lights, or just hidden features that really aren't necessary. It has an awesome hi gun hiding gimmick. Uh, the Matrix is awesome. The, the ch Matrix chamber is great looking. And the trailer accessory is doesn't feel tacked on. And overall, this is the perfect G1 Optimus Prime toy. The Revenge of the Fallen Leader Class Optimus Prime is, in my personal opinion, the best Optimus Prime to have ever existed, with my personal favorite being the Striker Optimus repaint from Dark of the Moon. 
my reasoning is that it has the most complex and interesting transformation in any Transformer toy. It is really complicated, and it actually terrifies some people from uh, getting this figure. But if you get past the transformation, the vehicle mode is awesome looking. The flames look great. The robot mode is super tall, really uh, athletic looking, and just screams movie Optimus Prime more than any of the other figures from the any of the movie series go. And in my personal opinion, is the best Optimus Prime figure to this date. <laughs>